What's up, YouTube? XA Gucci Clan 3 here. I'm back with just another video. Um, first and foremost, uh, I just want to say is that uh, I'm enjoying the uh, 25th uh, anniversary of WWE Raw. Uh, I like how the uh, the old superstars are, uh, you know, interacted with the, the current superstars and now, you know what I mean? It's good to still see still Coast Steve Austin, you know. Um, he actually looked good in shape, you know. We all saw um, The Undertaker, you know, made his announcement, rest in peace, you know, A Train, you know, Teddy Longs, you know, John and the Coachman, you know, it's good to see more of these guys interact with these, uh, with the new superstars and now, you know what I mean? But, anyways, I'm here with this breaking news story. Uh, WWE has suspended Cruiserweight champion Enzo Mori. Uh, a uh, rape allegation. WWE has suspended and Eric and also known as current cruiserweight champion Enzo Mori in lights up rape allegations. Earlier today, head of Raw's 25th anniversary show, a woman used the Twitter handle Miss Gucci Eyewitch, also known as Phenomenal, host a following on Twitter in regards to an incident she claimed happened in October. Okay, it's been long enough. And I have been so scared to share this. I was raped in the mid October by the W and by Enzo so known as Eric Hans and Tyler Goose and Trooper. Left it happen as a conflict. I was in a mental hospital for forty five days after they are not good people. W issued the following statement in regards to the allegation incident. W has zero tolerance for a matter involving sexual harassment or sexual assault. Until this matter is resolved, Eric Hans as an Enzo Mori has been suspended. Phenomenal has a considered proceeding across several social media platforms named fashion blogger Layla Sharper, also other at Compass Illinois. Sharper denied these accusations in an S and S F W tweet, which had been then deleted. At the making headlines for report, Rufflin featured Feather Backstage and so uh, <laughs> Amari became the crude centerpiece of W struggling cruiserweight division, which has currently ranked as the bottom YouTube viewers on Rob, making his debut on October 22. And so involved in last summer mystery storylines that once culminated in a big cast heel turn and 23 increase for Rob's viewership and added much needed star power to a men battle brand. 205 Live began its first live tour this past Saturday and low well matched after canceling its previous announcement, kicking off on Friday in Kingston, Rhode Island, the tour finished up on Sunday at the Men Hyundai Silver Center in Brixton, New York. A competition at Saturday's show in the Low Memorial audience will hold a capital of 2,800 estimate that was 800 to 1,000 at the audience. Should W plan future 205 live shows in the near future, will likely have to do without the show's biggest star in light of these very serious allegation. This is not the first single loss for a already shaken by division to issue outside the ring. Former Cruiserweight champion Rick Swan is currently serving a indefinite suspicion for outlight bad lies and false impression following a domestic view with his wife, Venom Riggs, last month. In 2007, the division also lost Cruiserweights Nevo and Austin Air, who both quit due to grout growing pessimism with the company. Due a time with movements like Hashtag Me Too have placed women's rights at the forefront of the social justice discussion aims at combat, rapid sexual contact in Hollywood and beyond. WRV has remained proactive by living up to zero tolerance policy for making regards to sexual harassment and domestic violence. Update Joshua Kearns and Dave Mattel of 4W Online report following Vince Lewis of the Phoenix Police Department media. Retailing Unit on Monday, October 23rd, 2007, at around 2 p.m., Phoenix Police report to a local hospital for a call of sexual assault that has reportedly occurred on October 19, 2017, at 401 West Kern Avenue. Alfredo is a conductor to Forbes Sports Money. Follow him on Twitter. This is nasty and like him on Facebook. Ah, uh, wow. Uh, this is crazy. Um... If this is true, then uh, and so it's in a lot of deep shit. I mean, he's in a lot of deep shit. But the lot, the thing that I want to know is, uh, what are they gonna do with the cruiserweight uh match this this Sunday? You know, um, are they gonna? I think are, are they gonna drop the uh the cruiserweight match? You know, or wait until this aggregation is uh is uh finished? Because um, like I say, uh, I'll try to keep up with this story because um, before I even say any more, I. I need more detail before um, we go more with this story. You know what I mean? Because like I say, um, 
nowadays anybody could come out and say they raped them. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. But um, if it's true, then it sucks for uh, Enzo. You know what I mean? Because basically he's fucking up his career. You know he already has our problems. Um, in the backstage with, with current wrestlers, you know what I mean? Some of these wrestlers don't like him, but if this shit comes back and it's true, then it, it, this dude is going to be in a lot of shit. But like I said, I need more detail on this before I have my final decision. You guys say what you think. I'm out.